thank you for joining us on my catalog today is a little bit different than the usual ones welcome to the lyrical launch of my catalog we're gonna have a hall of fame in here we're gonna have a whole bunch of new artists old artists basically lyrical legends you know and lyrical songs that we're gonna break down and uh yeah so let's get into it today it's even a special it's a double effect so we're gonna read the lyrics of takeover by jay-z which was released in 2001 and when we done with that we're gonna go into the ether the respond to the takeover so let's get into it started with the takeover this is jay-z he said come on whoa ROC, we running this rap. Memphis Bleak, we running this rap. B Mac, we running this rap. Freeway, we run this rap. You know what I really like about this? First of all, he mm. is bigging up all of his people and his label. Yeah. Let him know I, who's rocking I with him, man. It. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like right off the rip, like, hey, listen, when you go against me, you're going against the whole Rockefeller. We all yeah. on it. I got a team. Yeah. Kind of yeah. like Death Row with Tupac versus biggie and so forth you know i, yeah. I like that because it, it it gives it more you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. as long as it, it stays on on the paper you know it doesn't get out of the lyrics you know into real yeah. life because then it gets ugly we've seen that i mean but that's exactly what he's talking about he's not talking street stuff right because he says rap every yeah. every single one of this he's talking about the rap game right exactly like we're running this rap stuff right not the block you know what i mean or new york or any of those things you know yeah so owen sparks be running this rap chris and neef we running this rap the takeover the breaks over god mc me jay hover hey little soldier you ain't ready for war roc too strong for y'all it's like bringing a knife to a gunfight pen to a test your chest in a line of fire with your thin ass vest damn son. yeah a pen you can't erase a pen usually when you're taking the test you're doing a pencil mm -hmm. right nice i like that yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's like bringing a knife to a gunfight the pen to a test so if you mess up you can't go back you know and if you lose your life to a gunfire you know what i mean you yeah. can't go back and go grab your gun now you know you already brought the knife so you lost that your chest is in the line of fire with your thin ass vest i like that you're bringing the boys to men how the boys going to win he's basically saying that you got a lot of boys around you right like a lot of like little kids right and you're bringing them to men how they gonna win right mm, so because basically men on the yeah because you're the one win. yeah okay, exactly okay. I thought the boys to men was like in the Nas's label or something or whatever he's part no of. i think that was just like a play on that right yeah i like you like that boys to men yeah this is grown man bi which goes with that you know this is grown man bi get your rolled into a triage biage your reach ain't long enough dummy it says dunny do you think he's saying dummy though yeah i always thought it was dummy i didn't know it was dunny yeah me neither dun dunny I don't know. We would have to find out. Your peeps ain't strong enough, Effer. Rockefeller is the army, better yet, the Navy. Kidnap your baby, spit out your lady. We bring a knife to a fist fight, kill your drama. Damn. You Rockefeller is the that army. Knife. Yeah. Kidnap your babies and spit out your lady. That's so disrespectful. That's All like... Right? That's really personal, bro. <laughs> that's, that's fighting words if I've ever heard of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you said that to like a like a gangster rapper, bro, like they might hurt you, bro. Like they might not just leave it on the pad. You know what I mean? They might yeah. take it out of the studio. We bring a knife to a fist fight. Kill your drama. Oh, we kill you mother efforts ants with a sledgehammer. Don't let me do it to you, Dunny, because I overdo it. So you won't confuse it with just rap music. So he is saying Dunny. There's yeah. probably something about that Dunny part. It's probably some sort of slang. Overdo it so you won't confuse. So, I mean, so far, he hasn't really, like, dissed. I mean, he's dissed. Don't get me wrong. He's disrespected more than, like, lyrically dissed, you know? It's not like taking, like, any songs or artists that mix music with and dissing him like that. He's more like, yo, slap your baby mama and, you know what I mean? Kidnap your kids. And it's more personal, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this whole this whole front part too is just like him really bigging up like Rockefeller is like an army, but yet the Navy, right? So that whole like that literally explains this entire first part is literally he's talking about his crew is so much bigger than his crew, right? Yeah. He's got a lot of big names. That's why he was bigging up all those people in the beginning, right? He's like, we run this. Look at how many people are that are like big in the game right now that are running it, and exactly. it's just you and you got a bunch of kids with you, right? They're starting to become men, but they're all boys, right? It's like yeah. I already got men over here. All of us are all like stars. Right. And the boys make the mistake of bringing a knife to a gunfight or 
You know what I mean? You got to be smarter. Like he he brings a knife to a fist fight. You know yeah. what I mean? And he's always he just like one upping him. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, the bigger guy for sure. ROC, we run in this rap. MEZ, we run in this rap. The Broad Street Bully, we run in this rap. Broad Street Bully, that's uh my man's from Philly, right? How do I forget his name? I love this dude. Yo, we gotta put him on lyrical launch, yo. Uh State Property, yo. What's yeah, his State name? Property. Beanie Siegel. Beanie Siegel. Siegel. Is Siegel, he yeah. the Broad Street Bully? Cause he's always sure. came across to me as a bully. Yeah, I don't know who he was talking about with, with that. It could yeah. be. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's Bean, uh Beanie Siegel. The Broad Street bully we run in this rap shit gets zipped up in plastic when he happens. That's it. Um, that's nice. It's like putting in work, you know, because you put work in plastic. They also wrap you in plastic, I guess, when you uh, pass away. So yeah, zipped up, you know, like a zip onion. That makes sense. Freeway, we run in this rap. Owen Sparks, we run in this rap. Chris and Neef, we run in this rap. Watch out, we run New York. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, now now he's not talking rap anymore. Even yeah. though he already kidnapped his kids and uh, spit on his baby mama. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, at that point, like it's war, right? Yeah, for certain. So I don't care if you mob deep. I hold triggers to cruise. You little f. I got money stacks bigger than you. I like that. I got yeah, money right? stacks. That whole than mob you. deep play yeah. too. I don't yeah. care if you're mob deep, right? If you got a lot of people with you, but he's also talking about mob deep the crew. Yeah, right. I hold trigger and it kind of like the boys to men too. So he used that twice, you know what I exactly. mean? Exactly. Like, yeah. Off of artists, yeah. When I was pushing weight back in 88, you was a ballerina. I got your pictures of senior. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. Yo, but you know what? If if he did ballerina in real life, that means his footwork is nasty. <laughs> God forbid he knows how to box, bro. Cause right. <laughs> he'll tear your ass apart, yo. Like ballerina ain't no joke. I know it sounds like a you know something only females do but like yo if you're good at ballerina bro like and you train just a little bit physically you're going to be able to capture the fighting skills way easier you know what i mean you're going to be able to do so much more so and your balance too it yeah. gives you a lot of good balance 100%. i mean but yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's still like you don't want to be called a ballerina in no, the especially in, in, in the yeah. late 90s going into nah. the 2000 yeah. like even dancing was kind of like the south kind of brought the dance and they made it cool you know what i mean because before that even me y'all like i was like I'm not no dancer I'm right a everybody everybody hey. especially in new york everybody's fat joe in right yeah you just lean yeah. back that's two all you step. were doing in the club yeah you're just leaning back like and yeah doing the two step yeah <laughs> okay uh when i was pushing weight back in 88 you was a ballerina i got your pictures i seen you they need drop shook once switch your demeanor well we don't believe you you need more people rockefeller student of the game we pass the classes nobody can read you dudes like we do hmm okay hmm student of the game like you can read like basically the you know the b in him you know mm -hmm. i could see that yeah that you drop shook once with your demeanor shook once yeah. i like how he was like i don't That's care right. if you mob deep I exactly. trigger. yeah i love it it was a play on it. that as well right yeah yeah that worked out really well we passed the classes nobody can read you dudes like we do don't let them gas you like Jigga is ass and won't clap you. Trust me on this one. I'll detach you. Whew. Mind from spirit, body from soul. Yeah, here we go. Damn. Yo, he doing some uh, Mortal Kombat stuff. You know, right. I'll man? detach you. Mind Pick from your soul. spirit, right. body yeah. from soul. Whew. Detaching everything. They have to hold the mask. Put your body in the hole. No, you're not on my level. Get your brakes tweaked. I sold what your whole album sold in my first week. You guys don't Jeez. want it with Hove. Ass Nas, he don't want it with Hove. No. <laughs> I like mm -hmm. that, y'all. I sold what your whole album sold in my first week. First week. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, he's just flexing at this point, right? Yeah. Yeah. Big flex. Yeah, super flex. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, like, looking at, like, how you all turned out, like, his flex is, you know, it's something he did for sure yeah and even if he wasn't there at this level which I, I believe he basically was but he's just been growing gradually so this makes a lot of sense you know what i mean yeah. it's very truthful you, you know looking into the future now roc we run in this rap sh b seagull we run in this rap sh m easy we run in this rap shit gets zipped up in plastic when it happens that's it
Owen Sparks, we running this rap shit. Freeway, we running this rap shit. Chris and me, we running this rap shit. Watch out, we run New York. You know, if I was Beanie Siegel, M.E.Z., Owen Sparks, and Freeway, I would really, really appreciate this. But at the yeah. same time, if you really look at it, Beanie Siegel was a tough, tough cookie during this time. Uh, mm -hmm. Freeway was tough. I mean, they from Philly. So, you know, anybody from Philly for the most part, especially from like, not especially, but people from North Philly, they come in hard, bro. You know who's from mm -hmm. Philly too? That's with the dog pound? Corrupt. Corrupt yeah, is correct. actually from Philly and then moved to LA. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't know that. He's originally from uh, from Philly as well. So in mm. Philly, in North Philly, they, they get down, bro. I like that uh, Chris and Neef, those were the young guns, no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's he's also shouting out his artists and also bringing his artists into this. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he, he run in New York. But Freeway and Benny Siegel is from North Philly, so... Yeah, and the fact that he put this, like, as like because he had it in the intro, right? But now, like, this has become the hook. Yeah. So yeah, now, yeah. It's like the hook, he just keeps bringing it up, right? <laughs> I know you miss it all the fame, but along with celebrity comes about 70 shots to your frame. Ooh, mm. you are lame. Use the model for calling Connie Esco ads. He could never say that in this time and age. Went from nasty Nas to Esco trash. Whew. Had a spark when you started, but now you just garbage. Fell from the top 10 to not mention at all. <laughs> wow. Your bodyguards, Uchi Wally verse better than yours. Damn. To your wow. bodyguards, Uchi Wally verse better than yours. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That 70 shots to the frame, though, man. Like, uh, but along with celebrity comes yeah. about 70 shots to your frame right that's like that double is crazy because he's talking about like camera shots right 70 shots to your frame like when you when you take your pictures and you put it in a frame right yeah it's a frame but then also he's gonna give you 70 shots to your frame with your body to your, right, yeah, to your body yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's wild yeah I, I like that line i know you're missing all the fame and you know it's it's kind of true because like Nas is like considered one of the best rappers ever for certain. Like there's no question about it, uh, lyrically and everything. But he was very slow with his albums, bro. Sometimes it took a few years for him to come up with a new album. You know yeah. what I mean? So he got a little point there. You know what I mean? Not too much, but a little point for sure. Matter of fact, you had the worst flow on the whole fucking song. But I know the sun don't shine, then sun don't shine. Hmm. God's son then sun don't shine i get that yeah that's why you're lame career come to an end there's only so long fake thugs can pretend true you ain't livid you witnessed it from your folks pad you scribbled it on a notepad and created your life yo you know what like i'm, I'm not wow. gonna lie yo he's probably right though because because nas to me he never seemed like a 50 cent but mm -hmm. i knew that he was brought up in that type of environment but he was like to me he seemed like the guy who kind of like didn't really like indulge too much in the streets and he was like more paying attention at his pad you know what i mean mm -hmm. like at least from my outsider's perspective i don't know nas i wasn't grown up with him so i don't know he could have been yeah. the toughest guy on the block but from the outside i understand what he's saying though you know what i mean because that's how i kind of looked at nas as well you know yeah and, and i feel like nas kind of looks at himself almost like that way too because i've heard him talk like he talks about like he's never been like the toughest guy in his neighborhood right he he just talks about he's a product of his environment right mm -hmm. and he didn't want to actually be there right so that's why he's he wrote so much and did all this stuff right he was but trying to get out i also heard a story where somebody came to see nas wanted to make a song or something along those lines and his people's downstairs like he was like a boss guy but i don't know if he was already you know what I mean? He already had a buzz at that time. Yeah. Maybe maybe that was the case. But before yeah. before he got into the rap scene, I don't feel like he was the guy out there running the block for certain. Nah, Not I think I think York. exactly what you just said. I think I think after he got on, he just brought in people from his from his city, right? Yeah, the real and those like, those are the guys that like are yeah. the shooters, right? And then he like I mean, they, there's stories that have been told all the time when he has encounters, like even the Snoop Dogg story with Snoop Dogg talking about he had goons and stuff. And then when they when he met with Pac, right? Mm -hmm. And his guys are all ready to like shoot for him all the time, but yeah. Nas is more like like nah, everyone needs to chill out kind of kind of guy, right? Yeah, and he has these shooters like these real guys that actually at war in the street. 
because right? he's from that environment so he exactly. took them all under him and obviously they're gonna ride or die for him that makes perfect sense for sure yeah. you know who i loved on his i don't know if he was on his label but made a lot of songs with him az the mm -hmm. most underrated rapper like that guy was a monster bro a monster i tell yeah. you but he never got no shine you know what i mean unfortunately but he's so good bro and even together they were like great together you know yeah, yeah. i showed you your first tech on tour with large professor that's a rapper right large professor could be at the time i'm pretty sure i've heard oh I've yeah heard yeah you before. went on tour with large professor yes, yeah yeah i think you're right yeah yeah then i heard your album about your tech on the dresser damn so what he's saying is you never play with them joints you know what i'm saying i showed you your first one i yeah. showed you your first one and you put it on a rap right after so you basically rap about me <laughs> yeah living by curiously almost talking about living by curiously yeah. through him right because he said now your next album had the tech on the dresser right yeah because like Oof. like i showed you that right yeah, yeah. i like that Dang. too that's tough so yeah i sampled your voice you was using it wrong you made it a high line i made it a high song i love mm -hmm. that and that's like the line that really like stuck out in the song. A lot of people still talk about that line, right? You yeah. made it a that hot line. Made it a hot song. Yeah. 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 No, that that was tough. That was tough for sure. And you ain't get a coin. You was getting effed. And I know who I paid, God. Searchlight Publishing. Use your brain. You said you've been in this 10. I've been in it five. Sparring up Nas, four albums in 10 years. I could divide. That's one every, let's say, two two of them. This was due. Damn. Mm. That's what I was talking about. He's so slow yeah. with his albums coming out. Yeah. Every other yeah. year, right? And he's saying that you owe, you owe us another two albums, right? Yeah. And he's even the line that he stole... He didn't even have to pay him for it. He he He's talking about yeah. Search like publish. <laughs> yeah, so basically he just broke down his who actually like that's why he said you got played, right? He's like you're doing your business yeah. wrong, right? Yeah. Like basically like you got your coin messed up, right? So you got your coin messed up, you're yeah. getting it effed, right? I yeah. I know who I paid, God, right? He's like I didn't even have to pay you because you didn't even own it. Yeah, you Dang, didn't even that's own messed up. publishing. Yeah. Not yeah. only that, now he's like explaining how you don't come up with enough work to be even in this like debate or, you know what I mean? Conversation, basically. Four albums in 10 years. I could divide it. That's one every, let's say, two. Two of them just was due. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. I mean, like, because those are kind of like those are facts bro like he's not lying about any of this stuff right here this part he's not lying about it no i sampled yeah. your voice he was using it wrong i mean that's an opinion you made it a high line i made it a high song that's a fire line and you ain't get a coin you was getting f i know who i paid searchlight publishing damn yeah that's just a bigger yeah. jab because it's like yeah i stole your thing but he's like, the funny thing is, I didn't even I have to pay you for stealing you. your thing. Right? Yeah. yeah, like I, had, I paid yeah, somebody I, else who was also who's also stealing from you. So it's like you got stolen from twice. Not only your money got stolen, but but I stole your stuff and didn't even have to pay you. I had to pay the yeah. dude that's been stealing from you. I, I just another yeah. jab. I have a feeling like, cause as far as I remember, Ether, I think he responds to all of this. Cause I yeah. never really listened to Takeover like that. Like I was just I was with Nas right off the rip. So even if Ether wasn't better than TakeOver, like I would have still said Nas won, you know what I mean? More than likely, or yeah, I would that, not at even At the time, right, everybody, yeah, everybody was talking like, like when, you, when they when they were going through the thing, I remember it very vividly, but everybody was like, Nas is the rapper rapper, right? Yeah. So everybody was like, Nas is the rapper, and Jay-Z was the guy that was making like the, the hit songs. So people weren't looking at him like, he's like, Yo, how are you gonna try to go against Nas, right? It's like if we like compared like Drake and, and J. Cole right now. Right, everyone's gonna say J. Cole's gonna murder Drake because lyrically, yeah. right? That's yeah. how I looked at it back then. It was like, bro, I'm riding with J. Cole, even if his thing is worth like he's a I know he's a better rapper than Jay-Z, right? Because it, yeah. it was all about the lyrics back then with especially Nas. We're talking about Nas and Prime Nas. Mm -hmm. I would be kind of I don't know, because like Drake is a little bit scary, bro. Like, and and I always say this, like Drake make hit records for disses. It's a big difference. Like, let's say I'm a rapper, rapper, right? And I tear Drake apart. Like, I'm talking about I go in deep. Like, let's say uh, Pusher, Pusher T, right? Yep. Um, like, like, let's say I go even harder than Pusher T. Let's, like, I, I do it more than Ether, right? Whatever that song is, is just a diss record. 
But when he disses me back and makes that song a hit, that means that everybody is going to listen to that song. It becomes Way an anthem. more than mine. You know what yeah. I mean? And before mm-hmm. you know it, he's ripping you apart in the mainstream. And yeah. that's the scary part about Drake. I'm not saying he lyrically going to like murder somebody. But like I'm just saying, like the way he did Meek Mills, I that's what I was gonna say. Meek, Mill, that's exactly what happened to Meek Mills, right? He won a Grammy yeah. for a diss song, bro. That's unheard of. And you know, like the the back to back wasn't even like a great, amazing lyrical like this. You know, it was good. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but it wasn't like amazing. It wasn't a goddamn ether for sure lyrically. You know, but it was a hit record. And everybody knows that, you know what I mean. And if you, what he said, you get embodied by. Well, you're getting embodied by singing, and then he said, uh, "Trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers." Yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, "Jeez." Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just those lines alone, even if the rest was trash, because the song is a hit song, that's all they're gonna remember is that line right there. Yeah. You know what I mean, which exactly. he got one in here too. You made it a high line. I made it a high song. You know what I mean? But this yeah. takeover song is not a mainstream song. I mean, if it was, that would have been, whew, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, Drake is like a, a different type of monster because like his choruses and hooks are very catchy. Yeah. Right? That's what makes him such a big, a big threat. Right. Yeah. So if you have, like, like you said, like he won a Grammy for back to back. Like yeah. that's, that's huge. Right. That, that's, I was playing everywhere. <laughs> you can't beat that, bro. Like that's so genius. I really, I really like what Drake did with that one. Cause that's so scary, bro. I wouldn't want to diss him, bro. I really wouldn't. Like you would have to make a hit record to diss him. You know what I mean? Not just like be a lyrical guy and destroy him like that. But even that, like, like you know, at that time, Drake was like the one of the biggest of artists yeah. ever, right? And so that like, was just that, another hit. The diss was yeah, just another hit. You exactly. Know? Like, like yeah, what you just 100%. said. The streets yeah. were hearing Meek Mill, but like the world was hearing Drake. <laughs> Yeah. And you know, yeah. another thing is like, and when the smoke clears, right? He yeah. made so much money off that hit record that this hit record, that your this record is, is still just for the hip hop heads. Because when the majority is taken over, bro, you're not winning that. You know? When, when the entire world says that you lost and only hip hop heads say that you won, you lost, bro. Like, it's, it, it doesn't matter that they don't have like hip hop experience like you or they're not a hip hop head like you. it doesn't matter what matters is the major public thinks that they won one way you know yeah. what i mean it's it's like boxing right it, like say like two boxers fight and they go all around but like he, everybody like who watches boxing is like oh dude this guy won like he was whooping him but then the decision goes to the other guy and he gets yeah. robbed people aren't gonna remember like he got robbed like Three years later, oh, that's a win on the record column. Say, win. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. right? Yeah. That's all they yeah. look at. They look at the back when they're like, oh, well, he won, right? And they're the- not going to look at, like, go back to the fight and see who threw the most jabs, who landed, who did all that. They don't 100%. care about that. They look at, like, what actually happened at the end, right? Who got 100%. the most numbers? And Drake got the most numbers. So, Yo, by far, not even, like, not even a competition about it. You know what I mean? One was nah, the other one yeah. was Illmatic. That's one hot album every 10 year average. That's so lame. Switch up your flow. Your shit is garbage, but you try to kick knowledge. Get the fuck out of here. You gonna learn to respect the king. Don't be at the next contestant on the Summer Jam screen because you know who, who did, you know what, what, which you know who, yeah, but just keep that between me and you for now. I love, I love when rappers do that because yeah. like they make it seem like who was it? I forgot who it was, but they said like I'm not even gonna show that footage to you. Got you on camera bowing down, but the footage is safe. Thank God, another USB to put in the safe. I forgot who was it, but I'm gonna keep that footage on the side so you don't know what the footage is. I don't remember who it was, but I love that idea. You know, it's genius. Like, right? Cause they, being, yeah, yeah. Cause you don't then your imaginary yeah your yeah. Uh, imagination runs wild right You're yeah like, oh, what, do you, what does he have yeah. what are you talking about what does he talk about so you're gonna fail yeah. me bro <laughs> yeah that's tough though i like that i like that idea you know it's really nice especially in battles you know roc we won in this rap m easy we won in this rap the broad street bully yeah we won in this Get zipped up in plastic when it happens. That's it. Freeway, yeah, we running this rap. Old Sparks, yeah, we running this rap. Yeah, Chris and Neef, yeah, we running this rap. She watch out, we run New York. A wise man told me you don't argue with fools. That's smart. Mm-hmm. Cause people from a distance can't tell who is who. Woo, you ain't lying, yeah. yo. You ain't lying, yo. Like you spending some knowledge for real now. So stop with all that childish ish. 
I'm grown. Please leave it alone. Don't throw rocks at the throne. Do not bark up that tree. That tree will fall on you. Whew. I don't know why your advisors forewarn you. Please, not Jay. He's not for play. Whew. Okay. He's not for play. All right. Well, that's kind of like, uh, it's very direct. You know, right. speaks for itself. He's basically been calling himself the king, right? And he's mm -hmm. basically just demeaning him down this whole time. Like even talking about the don't bark at up at the tree because the tree will fall on you. Fall on you, right? yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. It's too big, just, you know. Yeah, he's yeah, just yeah. calling himself a giant, and you're like nothing to him, man. He can just squash yeah, yeah. you. And and also trees are planted, you know. So he's 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 here and he's not going anywhere. You know what yeah. I mean? So don't waste your time. Like sooner or later the tree might fall, but when it falls, it's gonna hurt you. Because it's been growing for so long, you know what I mean? It's the roots in it too, you know what I mean? Like, I love I love what he did with that one. That was nice. Yeah, and that first line, what you just talked about, that line is dope too. Like, the a wise man told me don't argue with fools because yeah. people from the distance can't tell who's who. Who's who? Yeah, that's so true. Because sometimes, like, even the intelligent people, even if they are right in a conversation, when you're arguing with a fool, the fool is so loud that when people from the outside, they don't know who's who is who you know what i mean like so you look like a fool too out there you know just fooling around with another fool you know so as 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 a smart guy you should just like not like argue with a fool you know what i mean just let him you know get it out and then just move forward you know he's in a different level as well too so like why argue with somebody who's under you you know yeah like because you want to climb up so you want to argue with somebody above you you know what i mean so he's still shitting on him like as far as like you know what i mean you down there i'm on the throne type of scenario that's tough no yeah because like yeah because from a distance like people aren't listening to the conversation right they just see two people yelling at each other so yeah. you both look like fools right even though your point might be better than their point yeah. they're not hearing the point from a distance all you see is the argument like yeah. the argumentation right yeah. and that, and you guys look the same yeah and yeah. usually people only see stuff from a distance you know like me with these two diss tracks like only from a distance you know like i don't know like Nas's true story growing up you know i don't know if he was a super boss gangster or he was a nobody or he was just stuck in the environment i don't know any of those you know and i can only assume and this guy got me assuming all types of crazy stuff so yeah yeah absolutely i don't know why your advisors ain't forewarn you please not jay is not for play i don't slack a minute all that thug rapping and gimmicks i will end it all that yapping be finished you are not deep you made your bed now sleep all right mm -hmm. i mean it wasn't like oh <laughs> you know what i mean but it's nice yeah. though don't make me expose you to the folks that don't know you Whew, there he goes again yo with that like unknown you know what i mean I yeah. know you well, all that stolen jewels. Whoo, twinkle toes, you breaking my heart. You can F with me, go play somewhere, I'm busy. And all your other cats throwing shots at Jigger, you only get a half a bar. Fuck y'all. <laughs> wow, you only get yeah. half a bar. What an outro, yo. What an outro. Yeah, I mean, cause that's half the bar, right? F, yo. Yeah, half the bar, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's the bar that, you, that's that half bar that you're gonna get right there. That's yeah, all he's gonna mention yeah. you guys. Literally, do. literally, yeah. he only give you half a bar at the end of the song. <laughs> right, the very last Ooh. half bar too, at that. I like it though, like, I think he has very smart, like, I like his intelligence in attacking this, you know what I mean? The beginning with the, with the whole, like, baby mama and kidnap kids, I think he took it a little bit too far on that. But you mm -hmm. know, the, the, the hot line, hot song, I like all of that. And I like how he made himself look like he's on the throne, he's the king, and this guy's just a peasant on the bottom, you know, trying to get basically shine off of him type of scenario, you know, in, the, in yeah. a sense, you know? It's crazy at this time that an artist can like literally like because you know Jay believed this like when he was rapping this right like you believed him when he was saying this stuff because he was believing this but like he was saying this to, to somebody like Nas who at that time was like yeah he was and, there like, and he even knows that <laughs> yeah. like, people were looking at him like like revered like lyrically right yeah. and he's basically trying to say like oh you don't believe in your own hype right that knowledge is not really knowledge he just keeps demeaning him like making it seem like he he's a lot less than what he really was especially at this time Nas was the guy. Right? in the rap in the rap game so the fact that he could talk to him like this and yeah. be believable was was crazy at the time right and now like for, for me for a response for this like a rapper would have to like basically address everything that he said on this takeover 
Like if, yeah. if Jay-Z was dissing me and I'm a rapper and he dissed me like this and he said all of this, like my diss back would have to be as an MC would have to do with what he you said about me and turn it around on you and then add a few more. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which Look I'm it. pretty sure Ether did exactly that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I understand a lot of the Ether by reading this one, honestly. Like by breaking this one down, I understand the ether so much more now, you know? All right, guys. So we're going to go to ether, the response to take over. I'm super excited. This is one of my favorite songs. Odysseus or whatever you want to say. I love this album. Stomatic is my favorite Nas album. I know a lot of people love Illmatic. Some even as written and so forth. But for me personally, Stomatic is what like really gravitated me towards Nas because you know for a while I didn't like Nas because of Tupac you know because mm, Tupac yeah. was dissing every New York rapper I didn't like Jay-Z I didn't like Dre I didn't like nobody that he dissed I didn't like none of them I was just a Tupac head you know what I mean but when I when I when I heard Stomatic I was like yo this guy is it's the truth then I went to his whole catalog you know what I mean yeah I always respected Nas because I was a big Tupac fan as well. But like, I even liked Nas even more because of Tupac too, because Tupac even gave him respect even when he was going at New York, right? He, when he yeah. basically was like, no offense to Nas, but this whole I mean, world is mine, right? I didn't mm -hmm. take that as like him like dissing him. I thought he was like, I no, thought he was beating him up. When he said this, this little dude Nas think he loud like, like me. me. Yeah, Talking yeah, about yeah. he left the hospital, took five like yeah. me. You live in fantasy, sucker. And that's, that's another thing he... They had me feeling like Nas wasn't really a street guy like that before his fame, you know what I mean? Or before he made it into the music business, you know? Like, he yeah. wasn't really a gangster like that because, like, the way Pac said it, you know, anything Pac says, you like, you know, he's he really believes what he says, and I believe him, oh, you know what absolutely. I mean? So, when he was like, oh, talk about you took five like me. And then when I started listening to Nas, he was talking once in a while, like, you know, getting shot and stuff like that. Like a lot of gun talk, but in an mm -hmm. intelligent way, you know what I mean? But like to me, after Pac said that, I was just like, you know, like Buck Nas, Mob Deep, all of them, you know what I mean? Gay Z, yeah. all of that, like, you know what I mean? But that's yeah, all hip hop. That, yeah. That's all I said. All hip hop influence. That's all Pac influence. That's not hip hop influence, you know. Yeah, Pac was just so passionate, right? Like, y'all the man. best, bro. Different, in different in my level. opinion, he's the best, and I don't think anybody can his his reign, his run. Nobody can top that. In, in my opinion, you know, to me, I know. Yeah, maybe short maybe. period of time. How young he was. How advanced he was in everything, right? Not even just yeah. like let's let's take away like even if he wasn't a rapper, that dude was a force as a person at, yeah. at that young of an age right because i wasn't actor everything right? interviews yeah, like... his interviews what yo his interviews are like iconic bro <laughs> everything he did was iconic which was weird and he died at 25 he did all of that he's still being talked about 30 years later 25 years later you know he carved his name in the hip-hop tree you know what i mean yeah. and it will forever be there all right, guys, so we're going to get to the ether now after we did the takeover. And uh, yeah, let's get into it, man. I love this whole entire Stillmatic album. It's one of my favorite albums of all times, period. You know, love this album. So what's up? Hey, yo, I know you ain't talking about me, dog. You? What? Buck Jay-Z. You been on my, you love my style. Buck Jay-Z. I was about to say the real joke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Buck with your soul like ether. Teach you the king you know who. Got son across the belly. I prove you lost already. I will not lose. I love that. I mm -hmm. love it. Just that hook alone, bro. It is so tough. Ah, buck with your soul like ether. Will teach you the king you know who. Not got son across the belly. Lose. I prove you lost already. I will not lose. I mean, that alone. Oh, man, that's so tough, bro. That's so right. tough. I love everything about this hook. The, yeah. the instrumental is fire. The lyrics is fire. The flow is fire. And the hidden secret, though, I will not lose in it. Yeah, will fire. not lose. Like every first word, right? Yeah. Read between the lines. And like when he says the first word, it's literally, I will not lose, right? Yeah. I prove you lost already. <laughs> like, <You know? laughs> so if you, if you compare the hook with TakeOver, I would say this hook won it for sure. Yeah. Like just because this is not part. him bigging. This is not him bigging up. It's literally, it's literally a response to like a lot of what he said in yeah. in takeover. He's like, teach you the king. You know yeah. you yeah. not like you not the king. I'm the yeah. king, right? And, and he, 
across yeah, the God's map. Son, right? Lose? I'll prove you lost already. You know what I mean? I will not lose. What? That's so tough, bro. And then, I'm like, because they also played on the beginning part, too, because he's like, you you know, you love my style, right? You bet yeah. on me. Right? Yeah, he's basically playing like you talked about. I've been in this game for ten years. You've been in it for five. I mean, you've you've been on me, right? Yeah, you even, you even said it yourself. You bit my style, right? Yeah. Even if it's the line or whatever, the fact that he dissed him in the first place, you love his style. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. because you want to degrade him. You know what I mean? He's that good that you picked on him. Because if he wasn't on top, you wouldn't have picked on him. Because he's on the bottom. You know what I mean? Like the way TakeOver was making Nas seem like, you would think that Jay Z is on the top and he's way on the bottom. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like that's not how people attack people. It's the people on the bottom attacking people on top to get up there. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like yeah. a like a rope scenario, you know? And then the people on top usually don't respond. But in this case, Jay Z actually attacked him. You know? So if he was on the bottom, you know he's not on the bottom. And he's basically explaining that. Teach you the king you know you. Not. Nah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so fire, y'all. Brace yourself for the main event. Y'all impatiently waiting like it's an AIDS test. What's the result? Not positive. <laughs> wow. Yep. Yo, because if you get an AIDS test and, you know, it's 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 not positive, you know, it's, it's good for you. You know what I mean? But like in this case, it's not. You know what I mean? It's not positive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, that's so tough, yo. What a wordplay that is. It's like an A test. What's the result? Not positive. Who's the best? Pac, Nas, and Big. You ain't no best. East, West, North, South, flossed out, greedy. I embrace y'all with napalm. I embrace y'all with like like an explosion, right? Mm, okay. Napalm. Like, yeah. I embrace all you guys, right? I because he's basically talking about I embrace everybody from yeah. from East, West, North, South, right? Blows up, no guts, left chest, face gone. Woo! <laughs> How could Nas be garbage? Send me autos at your cartilage. Whoo! Burn out the side of your dome. Come out of my throne. I got this lock since 9-1. I am the truest. Man, bro, this dude, like, it's like every line is getting at him, bro. Every yeah. single line. And it's all like the whole scheme is put together so flawlessly. It's like crazy, yo. Yeah, what a response back to, to everything that Jay-Z was saying, right? Yeah, everything. You know what I mean? semi autos are the car list. Burn. Burner at the side of your dome. Psh, come out of my throne. Come whoo, come out of my throne. That means when you blow out your brains, like his brain, his idea. Whew. Like, you know how people say, like, this is my throne. Like, my mind is my throne type of mm -hmm. scenario. Burn out the side of your dome. Psh, come out of my throne because he'd be stealing his shit too that's what he's basically saying too oh yeah you know and what, he's also you know? talking about like i'm coming out of my th like he's like because i'm the king right so he's like i'm yeah. coming out of my throne so i have to step down off my throne to come talk to you because you're, you're below me yeah like, you're not even you're not even on my throne <laughs> level right? and put that burn in and execute you you know what i'm yeah. saying i got this lock since 9 -1. i'm the truest name a rapper that i ain't influenced come on dog yeah, that's name a, a rapper i ain't influenced and and you know the reason that hits hard is because it's a fact. So yeah. many rappers, especially at this time, Nas, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's crazy. And that's Yo, not even people that came after him either, because he's talking about influence. Like, he's talking about name a rapper, like, even in this game that's even been here longer than him. Yeah, even rappers even at before this time, him. And yeah, after, people were and, talking about how they influ like he influenced them to like really start putting their pen in the game. Just like how, like, like even people like the Eminems, right? There's people that came before Eminem that literally, like, well, I had to change my whole style to keep up with this guy, right? Yeah. yeah. So and, and yeah, talking about Eminem, uh, he mentioned like a hundred uh, different groups and artists uh, during his rock and roll uh, Hall of Fame, yeah, Hall of Fame speech, which was really cool. But like Nas is definitely the guy for sure. And like, I mean, the majority of the rappers have been influenced by Nas after Nas came out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nas is one of a kind. Everybody knows that. Gave your chapters, but now I keep my eyes on the Judas with Hawaiian Sophie. <laughs> he gave my name with his music. Check it. Yo, he did that song with Foxy, right? Uh, what was it? Uh, he had the Hawaiian shirt, Sophie fame. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Da -na -na -da -na. Yeah. I, I, it, yeah, I don't remember I, what the song is about, but yeah, I know exactly what you're talking I about. I know the video for sure, so yeah. I know exactly what he's talking about. I love that he's literally just calling him like a Judas. Right? Yeah, I know. Like, keep my eyes on the Judas, like these backstabbers, yeah. right? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> 
because he sort of did backstab him in a sense you know like you you know who nas is bro like like how, how dare you come in like test this you know what i mean well yeah like, and he's talking about because like you have interviews and you have stuff before this talking about how much you loved me and how much i was an influence right yeah and now yep. you're trying to say like i ain't nothing how you gonna switch up like that how you gonna be a judas that kept is- my name in his music on top of that you know yeah. what i mean regardless yeah. of if it's the this or even before that you know like his name his lines and everything else so he's speaking nothing but facts mr nas over here yo killing it now buck with your soul like ether we'll teach you the king you know who got son across the belly lose and prove you lost already oh, man again i love that hook hey, yo pass me the weed pull ashes out on these man no doubt damn yo they just loosely use the f word like that yo like we we gotta cut it off for us but like damn yeah. yo like they just just throwing it out there even the even, time even jay-z did too yo you remember yeah. when the eminem was like do i hate f's the answer mm-hmm. yes you know what i mean that's crazy yeah. what a different time for sure they can never say that now they get canceled no. hell y'all f's <laughs> y'all kneel and kiss the fucking ring you know what i mean that's that's that king talk you know fuck with your soul either would teach you the king you know to got sent across the belly lose i prove you lost already i've been bucked over left for dead distant forgotten luck ran out that hope that i'd be gone stiff and rotten y'all just mm. piss on me shit on me spit on my grave talk about me laugh behind my back but in my face y'all some well wishes friendly acting envy hiding snakes <laughs> Jeez. That's fire, bro. And that relates to anything, period. You know what I mean? That's like so many people. Like I've been in this position before where somebody's like smiling in your face, but behind your back, they're doing like the most, you know? Yeah. So like, y'all some well wishes, friendly acting, envy, hiding snakes. And it's so funny because like when we was like doing the takeover, we was talking about how his albums, they don't come like every year. You know what I yeah. mean? They take a long time. And like I've been bucked over, left for dead, dissed and forgotten so like he dissed me my album ain't come on none, none of that right in, in a while luck right now the hope that i've been gone stiff and rotten that's what like jay-z was hoping y'all just mm-hmm. piss on me shit on me spit on my grave that's the this song take over talk about me laugh behind my back but in my face yes i'm well wishing because you know like you said in the interviews he always bigged up nas and so forth right and yo this just yo my god uh, it's so fire y'all some well wishes friendly acting envy hiding snakes with your hands out for my money man how much can i take Whew. Yeah, but even that first line where he's talking about, like, he's not only dissing Jay-Z in this, too. He's also dissing, like, kind of, like, the fans getting swayed to Jay-Z, right? Because yeah. he's basically saying dissed and forgotten. So you guys must have forgot who I was, right? Yeah, Just because yeah. I don't come out with music every other year, I think he's just talking about people's short-term span, short term. right? Which is nowadays the exactly. major Way thing. worse now, right? It's an now, epidemic you don't release an album that. in two years, yeah, you've yeah. definitely forgotten, right? Nowadays, for sure. So. Yeah, so he's he basically just, like, playing on that, right? Saying, like, yeah, Jay-Z might be dropping music all the time but like do you guys forget the last album i dropped like that wasn't yeah. nothing right? classics like, bro do yeah. nothing but classics you know exactly and it's crazy because like even now in this time and age this fits perfect you know what i mean because like they do forget you real quick if you don't come yeah. out like this year bro and and next year comes up and you didn't come out last year you coming back man there's a slim chance you know what i mean nowadays is different but during his prime i don't I, even if i waited five years bro i couldn't wait for the next Nas album you know 100 yeah. <laughs> percent. you know what i mean and the flow on this is just like ridiculously nice y'all I love like the pattern or the rhyming. It's phenomenal. I can hear it like because I know Ether. I can yeah, hear this song. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's hard not. It's hard not to, right? Yeah, like, it's when you're so this, it's hard, hard not to like know his cadence. Yeah, right? it, it just it's so smooth. But yeah, it's man, perfect. Yo, in my opinion, it's perfect. With your hands out for my money, man, how much can I take when these streets keep calling? Heard it when I was asleep that this gazy cockafella records want to beef. Started wow. cocking up my weapon, slow and loading up this ammo to explode it on a camel and his soldiers I can handle. Yo, but you know what's really funny? And his soldiers I can handle because, like, in Jay Z's takeover, he mentioned so many of his artists basically, right? From Rockefeller. Mm-hmm. Like, we running this rap shit and running. He's taking his whole army on by himself. Yeah. 
That's basically the... saying I don't need an army, right? It's like yeah, I'm, a yeah, one, yeah. I'm a one man army. Yeah, you need yeah. all these dudes. He's like, but I could I could take all y'all. And the I love gonna, the Cockapella the record. Yeah, the ether gonna burn your soul. You know what I'm saying? Like this, you guys, because when you cut the head of the snake, you know what I mean. Usually it falls apart. You know what I mean? And that's what he's aiming at right here for the head of the snake. You know. And I love that he was like using this like he's so big too like he didn't even hear like oh, this happening he's like the streets kept calling right yeah I heard know? it when I was asleep and he's yeah because like, I, I sleep on the throne he's like I'm not even paying attention to these dudes yeah right? that this like, Casey and Cockafella records want to beef get out of here started cocking out my weapon slowly loading up this ammo to explode it on a camel and his soldiers I can handle yeah, this is for Dolo like and his manuscript see Dolo. <laughs> <laughs> just sounds stupid when KRS already made an album called Blueprint First. Big is your man. Then you got the nerve to say that you're better than big. Dick lives. Why don't you let the late great veteran live, y'all? Mm. Oh, man, I love that, it, though. Yeah, that's huge, Sorry. right? Yeah, KRS one made the album called Blueprint First. I never knew that till Ether. You know what I mean? I yeah. never knew, like, because I don't know much about KRS. I know he's iconic. I know he's a legend of the hip hop game, but like, he wasn't like the rapper I grew up listening to. You know what I mean? I've heard yeah. even speeches and stuff like that. I mean, KRS like got nothing but respect for my side because everything I've ever heard of him was nothing but intelligent and yeah. uh, mind opening stuff that he taught me. You know what I mean? From anything that I've heard of either songs or speeches, you know, or yeah. interviews. KRS one is an artist artist is what I yeah. like to call him. Like he was the, he's definitely the guy. Like if you're in, uh, in this rap game, like you, you can't help but look up to somebody like yeah. uh, KRS one. Yeah. yeah. Well, and KRS one was just like, a like that guy was just so like in teacher. You know? in yeah. He was, yeah, he was like a prophet. Like it's like what he talked about. And then also like, his stage presence was like a like he was up there like a buster. Right? Yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah, too. yeah. Like, he wasn't he was no joke when it came to like MCing. Like this yeah. guy was like a real MC. That's the sound of the police. Woo, woo. Yeah. That's the sound of the police. Come he turned on, an bro. he turned an anthem against like the bridge is over. Like like that whole like like with Yo, MC, MC Shane, right? Shane, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that's Fire, insane, man. Yeah. Yeah. Even like 50 Cent even talks about it where he says like, man, I should hate KRS One because like I'm from them, right? And he's like, but he's like, I the bridge like, is even over. I like love that song. Over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, but it's funny because he's from Queensbridge too, and he's like, it sounds stupid when KRS already made it out. So he's already because KRS is from the Bronx. I mean, he's not from Brooklyn like Jay Z, but still though, yeah. like he still brought him in there, and he's the one who made a song. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's y'all. That's so dope, y'all. Godson across the belly i prove you lost already the king is back where my crown at i will it will, it'll yeah, will and it will yeah then he plays on it like i will and then he says mm -hmm. ill will rest in peace okay nice buck with you so like either teach you the king you know who got son across the belly i prove you lost already y'all deal with emotions like bees What's sad is that I love you because you're my brother. You traded your soul for riches. My child, I watched you grow up to be famous. Wow. <laughs> and now I smile like a proud dad watching his only son that made it. <laughs> Damn. Jeez. Like, how do you son somebody more than that, right? Yo, come <laughs> on. Because, like, <laughs> literally son them. Yeah, Jay Z was trying to son them on a takeover. So, like, yeah. yeah. This is like, it's almost like bar to bar response to takeover. It feels yeah. like so far. You seem to be the only concerned with this in women. Were you abused as a child? Scared of smile because they called you ugly? Well, life is hard. Hug me. Don't reject me or make records that disrespect me blatantly or indirectly. In 88, you was getting chased through your building, calling my crib, and I ain't even give you my numbers. Damn, bro. Jeez damn see like this is the type of stuff like even in a jay-z joint is like when they throw like shots like this your imagination runs wild it's like why was he running to the building and why did he need a joe help so he yeah. wasn't really that guy you know what i mean you was really the guy you know because <laughs> he called yeah. you for help you know Whew. yeah and that line is so fire that he literally his response was super ugly literally because he called they called you ugly and so <laughs> yeah. then, that must have took it real personal because literally jay-z's song response to this was super ugly right? yeah <laughs> I was you thinking... ugly. he's like so he's like all right I'm, i'll play off that right yeah and well, we might have to do the super ugly uh later down the line too I've never really listened to that one. Takeover, I have only once or twice, but yeah, yeah after super, I listened to ugly, Ether, I feel like got some some better jabs. To me, I like yeah. Super Ugly better. I mean, after listening to Ether, you would have to come. You like, have better. To, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
you know, because so far, I mean, like, I'm not going to give you my opinion on who won yet, but, you know, pretty one-sided so far. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> in 88, you was getting chased through your building, call it my crib, and I ain't even give you my numbers. All I did was give you a style for you to run with, smiling in my face, glad to break bread with the God, wearing Jay-Z chains, no tax, no cash, no cars. Remember the tech joint? <laughs> Louis brought it back, right? Yeah. Like, you weren't even wearing all this stuff. How are you yeah. going to try to say that I saw the tech with you first? Yeah. Right? No tax, no it. cash, no cars, no jail bars, jigger, no pies, no case just hawaiian shirts hanging with little chase oh wow you a fan a phony a fake a p a stand i still whip you you 36 in the karate class you yeah. tybo yo you remember the tybo dude they used to be on commercials all the time oh yeah yeah the, the ball dude yeah he tybo ho trying to work it out you trying to get brolic ask me if i'm trying to kick knowledge nah i'm trying to kick the shit that you need to learn though the ether that to make his burn slow is he damn diddy damn daddy or damn dummy oh i get it you biggie yeah. and he's puffy rockefeller died of AIDS. that was the end of his chapter and that's the guy i choose to name your company, company after, after. i never knew rockefeller died of aids though so what year did rockefeller die oh, i, I know he back. got like he got like rich i want to say in the 1930s 40s right yeah is he the same guy i'm thinking yeah. With the oil and stuff? Yeah, Rockefeller w was a monopoly. Yeah. Yeah, American business magnet and philanthropist. He was born in 1839. He actually lived to 97. 1839 to 1937. That's when he died. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know they had AIDS during that time. But no, he didn't die from AIDS. He died from vascular disease with blood vessels carrying oxygen away from the heart. Arteries became damaged from such facts. Yeah, he didn't die from AIDS. Mm. I'm wondering if he's talking about a, the, a different Rockefeller, maybe a son or yeah, something. Yeah, Rockefeller Jr., let's see. American financier, John D. Rockefeller's son. So he used 1874 to 1960. Right? So let's see. Well, how did he die? Died at 86 in Arizona. Cause of death. No, he died from pneumonia. Mm. Maybe it's his son. Jay-Z's label is named after a Brooklyn hustler named Rockefeller who lived in Farragut, avenue and allegedly died of aids when he was first becoming an epidemic in the black industry so not the rockefeller we know rockefeller mm. from brooklyn he's a hustler oh so not the rockefeller not the, not the big time. yeah so that actually hits a little bit That's the guy you used to name your company, company oh yeah. damn so you went yeah. like he stole it from the real rockefeller and he's a street guy he ends up dying of aids and you steal yeah. that to make it out the company that makes it even worse because because you got like the leftovers left over damn yeah. <laughs> and now I, I like how he, he already mentioned the stand part in there right you a stan yeah like, talking about you a stan to him but then he's also going to talk about the m&m part in here too that we haven't got to yet yeah right yo and i love the damn diddy damn daddy damn dummy oh i get it you biggie and he's puffy because you know i'll be diddy puff daddy and stuff like yo that's so dope yo because yeah, it's yeah. kind of true because dame dash and jay-z were kind of like uh you know biggie and puffy you know what i mean like Absolutely. it was a similar type of you know yeah like a really like, really great rapper with with the producer producer yeah dame dash was the puffy. label yeah, yeah absolutely you know? Except for Jay-Z had more than Biggie. You know, Biggie kind of just came into the scene. Dame Dash and Jay-Z had more of a partnership. I yeah, they say, were a partner. You know? yeah. Absolutely. Yep. But I love that line. And like, even in the song, it's fire, y'all. <laughs> oh, I get it. You Biggie and he's puffy. Rockefeller died of AIDS. That was the end of his chapter. And that's the guy I choose to name your company after. Put it together. I rock hoes. Y'all rock fellas. Mm, and y'all try to take my spot, fellas? Philly hot rock fellas, put you in a dry spot, fellas, in a pine box with nine shots for my Glock, fellas. Foxy got mm -hmm. you high because you kept your face in the. <laughs> Yo, that's Damn. probably like some of my favorite lines in this entire song. Right. Or this, you know? Like, I rock hoes, y'all rock fellas. Come on, bro. You can't beat that, yo. You can't. Yeah, he like, literally you know, used your, your literally your whole label against you. Like, the name. Gonna, yeah, I rock hoes, y'all rock fellas. And y'all try to take my spot, fellas. Philly hot rock fellas. Put you in a dry spot, fellas. In a pine box with nine shots for my Glock, fellas. Foxy got you high because you kept your face in her. What you think you're getting girls now because of your looks? Damn, he goes again yeah, on this. And him. ugly. Yeah. And his looks, you know? Yeah. Come on, please. You know mustache having with whiskers like a rat? <laughs> yeah, Compared that's... 
Beans, you whack. Yo, that's, I mean, I'm not going to say he's compared to Beans, he's whack, but like Beans, I listen to Rockefeller joint, uh, La Familia, and I listened to the first like six, seven songs. And um, bro, Bean was shining in there. You know, it was like really kind of like a Rockefeller La Familia. So it's like a, like you have Memphis Bleak and stuff like that. But like Beans, every verse that I heard from the first five, six tracks, like he was better than Jay-Z in that album. You know what I mean? So I could see yeah. where like he's going like compared to Beans You Whack because Beans was a monster, bro. Beanie yeah. Siegel, underrated. Yo, he was a street bully and he was whew, lyrically what? so street so gutter raw like he was flame so yeah. i could see how some people feel like that but you know mustache having whiskers <laughs> like a rat is freaking hilarious bro hilarious yo that's yeah. some eminem shit right there like making fun of you like you know like you did the giraffe with the benzino joint yeah having known that yeah. yeah when it goes like don't laugh what's the opposite of benzino it's a, a giraffe, giraffe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah i love that so you know mustache having with whiskers like a rat compared to beans you whack and your man stabbed you and made you take the blame Ooh, your man stabbed Oon. Oh, okay, okay. So there's a person named Oon and yeah. made you take the blame. Damn. So that means that your man's is really like the, the king of your... Yeah, because making making you're the fall guy, right? Yeah. And making you the fall guy, yeah. You're supposed to be the guy on top, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Your man stabbed Oon and made you take the blame. You a one from jazz to hang it with Kane to Herb to Big and Eminem murdered you on your own shit. Yo, listen, bro, I went back to it and I read the lyrics. Yo, I don't know what the hell I was talking about. When I was like, oh, look, I relate more to Jay-Z's part. Nah, yo, bro, he got the slaughtered in that one, yo. Like, yeah, Eminem, even for the street Eminem. dudes, listen, man, he murdered him on that. You know, and the funny part is that he already made it with Royce the Five Nine, so he already heard it and then mm -hmm. went on it. You know what I mean? Which, yeah. which you would think he would come super duper hard, but I mean, it wasn't bad. Don't get me wrong. It's just like I wouldn't have went on an Eminem song like that. You know what I mean? I not after you heard him do that. Yeah, yeah absolutely come not. On, not. Yeah, yo, hundred percent. Yo, I've read the lyrics, bro. And yo, he slaughtered that. I would have left it alone. Yeah, and then. Like, I was so impressed by how Eminem murdered him that I went to go listen to Royce the Five Nine, and Royce the Five Nine fit way better in that song. Because he sounded yeah. almost uh, yeah. like Eminem. I've, I've, heard, I've heard the original, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his, his, his was fire too. I mean, it wasn't as good as Eminem's, but it was fire though. You know what yeah. I mean? No, I agree. But uh, so Eminem murdered you on your own. We know that. You were uh, D riding F. You love the attention. Queens run you. Ask Russell Simmons. I love that too. Like, he, he put so much emphasis into that, you know? Ha, ROC, get gunned up and clap quick. JJ Evans, get gunned up and clap quick. Who's JJ Evans? Is that one of his uh, artists or uh, label owners? Or I think that's one of his label mates, right? JJ, mm. who's J I've heard that name before. That's a character oh. from Good Time. I'm starting to think, actually, he's talking about the guy that played JJ Evans, which is Jimmy Walker. Because James Carter Walker. Oh, because they basically were saying that he resembled J.J. Evans. Oh, yeah, because he just talked he about looked, his looks, too. Yeah, yeah, he said that he looked like him. So a character on the show, Good Times, also another name for rapper Jay-Z due to his striking resemblance for the to his character. So he's basically saying FJZ right there. He yeah. caught quick. J.J. Evans, he's basically saying that a lot of he people said that he looked like yeah. him. Yo, but you know what's really funny about that too? Like, not only Jay-Z gets gunned up and clapped quick, but even somebody looking like him, he's going to get murdered too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think he's just calling Jay-Z J.J. Evans. Yeah. Because yeah. basically everyone says that he looks like him because yeah. that's the character's name, not the actual actor. The guy's name in the in Good Times is JJ no, Evans. So I think he's no, trying to say he looks like him. Yeah, and I understand that. But what I'm saying is another way of looking at it is when you looking to kill somebody, when you say JJ Evans, somebody that looks like you, that means that even people that look like you or like mistaken for you will get killed yeah. as well. You know what I mean? Like there's no like nobody's escaping this gun down. You know what I mean? I like that. I think he probably had that in his mind too when he said it. So yeah, ROC, fire, right? <laughs> yeah, super fire, yo. ROC get gunned up and clap quick. JJ Evans get gunned up and clap quick. Your whole damn record label get gunned up and clap quick. Sean Carter to Jay Z, damn you on jazz. 
So Lil Short is getting gunned up and clap quick. So how much your biggest rhymes gonna cut out your fat lips? Wanted to be on every one of my classics. Who like that presidents? You know what I mean? Yeah. You pop shit apologizing. Just ask kiss. Put you solar ether. Da, da, da. Whoo! Fire, y'all. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah, absolutely man, Nas, fire. Nas, Nas didn't hold back any punches on this one. Nothing at all, yo. It was really nice, man. I loved everything about the 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 ether, you know. Like I love how he responded with everything that Jay Z said in Takeover. Touch base with all of it. Add us some more. The yeah, I rock hoes, y'all rock fellas. The even the chapter joint. Like I used to always think he was talking about the real Rockefeller, like you know the famous one. Yeah. Right? And I'm like, he died of AIDS in 1930, whatever. He's that's weird. Yeah, nah, he, like he's I, talking about the gangster from from Brooklyn, right? Yeah, which is even doper, bro. Like, like because he the gangster took the name from Rockefeller. You took the name from the gangster. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Like that's crazy. Yeah, that's so dope. So, in your opinion, remarkable. Who do you think won this? Oh, uh, nah, that's for sure. If we're just yeah. doing takeover and and ether. Just because this is the response to take over and like not only did he respond but like he literally mentioned like almost word for word exactly what he was responding to right yeah. he brought literally lines that jay-z used against yeah, him and then flipped it yeah right the whole throne lines and him calling himself a king he literally like that chorus like that hook is like so much better than the other yeah. one right than yeah, jay-z because jay-z was just stunting on his yeah but i feel like he took it to the next level and literally like he had a secret message in his yeah hook, i will right? not lose, I will not lose. Yeah, like, yeah yeah how can he fire. lose after that you know what i mean let's do it like this right because when we do this in the future we should do it like this out of 10 how much would you give to ether and how much would you give to takeover like would it be five five six and four seven and three eight and two nine and one oh like like how much would you give him over Jay Z's? Out of like, ten, out of was? ten, how much would you give to Ether? How much would you give to? Yeah, yeah. Takeover? So like percentage. Because Takeover right? was was nice. Like don't get me wrong. I mean it was it wasn't as good as Ether, but like it wasn't bad. It wasn't trash. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like, yeah. If we're so, just comparing these two songs together, like, and then where was the like scale? Right? Who who outweighed mm -hmm. the other person? Yeah, I'll give it 80 20 to Nas to be honest. Eight to like eight to two. I think it's 80 20. I think it would be eight to eight to two to, okay. to me. If we're just doing these two songs, if we did like the whole beef, I think it would be a little bit. I, I would give Jay Z a little bit more because I'd really like that super ugly, mm -hmm. but like, not I still give the edge to Nas. Nas, I think, came out yeah. the more victor like at the end and of it. And to be fair to both, like Ether was a response to Takeover, so Super Ugly yep. came afterwards. You know what I mean? So like yeah. that's like another. I don't know if Nas responded to Super Ugly. Maybe he didn't, but he didn't have to respond much after Ether because I I feel like I was gonna give it a seventy thirty seven and three, but like I think I'm gonna go with the same as you, eight and two. Yeah, honestly, it's just, it's just the song was. I think Nas just hit every box to me. Like the song sounded better to me. Like just like let's take let's take away like what they actually said about each other. I like not. I can still listen to Ether now. Like I still yeah. like how it sounds and love versus it. Yeah. The takeover. The takeover was more just like him getting braggadocious. More like, personal. He didn't do anything. Yeah, and he, like you have to like it was like he time stamped it. So I was like, mm -hmm. now it's not like a song I would probably listen to again. But Ether, I can listen to. Like, that's a song. Yeah. Like maybe it's the songs that I came across the takeover joint, but like the the audio quality was nothing like Ether neither. You know what yeah. I mean? Like Ether had a better beat for certain. Um, takeover, I don't know. To me, it doesn't sound like as crisp as Jay Z's music usually does. You know what I mean? It was almost like a mixtape, like. It sounded like a mixtape song, you know what I mean? Like something you just rap over a beat type of scenario. But Ether was an established song from an established album, you know what I mean? That you can mm -hmm. listen to, like, get yourself a good. And, and let me mind you, yo, he dissed them all through Stomatic, you know what I mean? That was lines yeah. all over Stomatic dissing him, you know what I mean? But if you compare these two, well, I'm with you. I think it's eight to two. Yeah. And also because, like, if you look about, like, if you actually played the song, Nas in this song, did this like more nonchalant like he didn't like when J when we listen to jc's takeover jc's like yelling and like like trying to get his point across to make it seem like he's kidnapping like, really his to, like, children like, really personal, yeah like really you know i'll spit I mean? on your girl kind of thing yeah. right? but like really trying to be like aggressive 
and like really was giving that demeanor. Well, Nas was more just like, "Come on, bro, you've been on my, you've been yeah, on my." Yeah, right? yeah. And and he picked he picked him apart as the character he's portray, portraying himself as. Yeah, you know, he picked him apart as that. His entire name and everything, looks and everything else. So he didn't say, "I'm gonna kidnap your children" or "I'm gonna kidnap your girl" or any of those things or your mama or none of that. Like Jay Z seemed like he was like more. I guess you could say butt hurt. You know what I mean? Like he was more hurt, yeah. and just like you said, like uh, in Ether, Nas is more like, "Come on, son, let, let me get at you, son. Come over yeah. here, yeah, like, give me an ear real quick. Let, let me just show you what it is." You know. Thank you for joining us on my catalog. This was the segment of Lyrical Launch. It was an epic battle. There's another song called Super Ugly by Jay Z, but you can also go check out Stomatic. There's a bunch of lines in there by Jay Z. The entire album, this is him, you know, indirectly here and there. So we gave you our thoughts on Ether and Takeover. You give us your thoughts down on the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell everybody about my catalog. Until next time. Peace.